First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Raka Kodash. We see the man and the apostles and elders agreements and rule well. And salutations so the Akim also the pushing with no truth and sincerity day in and day out. You know, constantly in season on season we say Shalom. Um, just going into this piece up here, you know, to, um, to make um, your call on election sure. You know, just um, a few words on it, you know. Um, because when you're in the truth, you have to make your call on election show. You know, you should have diligence and so forth. You know, not make excuse for the Lord because you know what I mean you you woke you, you wake up to something that's that's you know um so pure you know um and being in this you don't know what it is you're gonna get you know so why why stop give diligence why be why be why not um why not continue being a fervent spirit you know why why lose that spirit then you know to be lukewarm because the NAD I see um. Many are called, but few are chosen. And you want to be in that, in that chosen, you know. So this is Second Peter chapter one verse ten. It say, "Wherefore, the rather, listen. It say, yeah. So it say, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Now when you look up the, the meaning of the word election in that scripture, right? Just looking up any concordance election, right? So it's a election in the concordance, the Bible concordance, right? It's a divine, it's a selection, it's a abstractly or, or con, it's a abstractly or chosen election, you know, and it talk about elect, you know, to make an election sure, right? It say, wherefore the, the rather virgin, give diligence, right? Give diligence to make your calling an election sure, <laughs> meaning that you was chosen, you know? So why not why not show that diligence to show that hey this is the Lord choose it for this reason the Lord, the Lord pick it up for this reason you know because hey at the end of the day so when when we get um chosen for this thing it's to glorify the Lord you know that we wake up to that we wake up to this knowledge we wake up to this understanding now we understand the scriptures you know you know not much people that was given on to so why why know it now and stop give diligence you know and stop and stop to show that that fervent spirit. Could never that is what the Lord make it plead. That is why the scripture are here. Right? Second Peter one verse ten. Wherefore the rather bedroom give diligence. Say give diligence. When you look up diligence, it say to use speed that is to make effort. To make effort. So it's showing, you know, effort to, to for the things you're doing for the Lord. You know? It say be prompt or earnest. It say in it say endeavor, labor and study. Come on. They say, wherefore the rather bedroom give diligence. When they say diligence, they say the endeavor, you know, labor, study, all these things. You know, the, the apostles will be telling us on, the, on a daily basis to continue doing what we have to, you know, three videos, you know, and, you know what? Um, sometimes, apostles will say three, but if you could do more, do more, right? Do more, right? Okay, it said, it said what? Well, it said to make an effort. And if you, you know, hey, at the end of the day, you have to be making an effort for the Lord. You can't be paying the things you're doing in the world in front of, in front, in front of the Lord. That doesn't make no sense. They're not showing any diligence. You know, so you say, where for the rather bedroom, give diligence to make your call in an election sure. For it, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Yeah, and you shall never fall. You know why? Because yeah, the Lord will see that. You know, the Lord will see that, hey, you're doing all these things for him. And the Lord will be there with you. When certain obstacles come your way, they know that yeah, you pay trust in the Lord, and the Lord will take you out from that, right? It say for for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, and that this the, the person who wake up in the shoot, they labor, they labor, and maybe still labor and so forth. You say abundantly, um, you look at that word abundant, right? abundantly it's a large quantity or plentiful so so when it's a 
you want to say for so an entrance will be ministered unto you abundantly meaning say plentiful now if he's a man showing a diligence and so forth if you if you edify someone or teaching someone in the truth and yet yet, yet the same way to you to be preaching you to be ministering that word unto them abundantly as well the same way it was given unto us because the apostles the elders and so forth they 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 they, 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 they minister this thing unto us abundantly plentiful you know truly videos and so forth you know so going back going back to verse 10 it say, wherefore the rather bed and give diligence to make your call and an election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. You shall never, yeah, you shall never fall. So yeah, you know, give diligence. Show that fervency, you know. So yeah, so just, you know, just a little few, too much spirit, you know, scriptures on my mind. Just say a little touch on it, you know, do a video on it. So you know that we give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kodash. We see that one of the apostles and elders are grievous and really well. And salutations only I can mostly push me with on our truth and society day in and day out. No consistency on season we say shalom.